Hello beauties, it's me Tony. In today's video, you guys, we're doing another vlog. Um, I wanted to just end vlogmas and I didn't want to really do a sit down video, which I was gonna do a sit down video and kind of show you guys everything that I got for Christmas, which we'll kind of do a little bit of that um, in this video. But I didn't want to, um, to do that too much because it would have just taken a lot out of me and I haven't been feeling well. Actually, like at least once a year around this time, my body gets in the state where it like shuts down and I have to lay in the bed. So that was Christmas Eve for me. I was laying in the bed basically all day. I took a little bit of NyQuil by the time my mom was able to bring me some. Um, and then, you know, rested the rest of the night and then Christmas Day, took DayQuil to kind of make it through. And then this is the day after Christmas. So. Um, there's two kind of missions of this vlog basically to end vlogmas if you guys are new to my channel my channel focuses on a little bit of luxury I like to do unboxing fitness content travel lifestyle that sort of thing so if you like that you're in the right place um, so basically what I'm doing today I need to go back to Saks and I need to go to Neiman's um, so I need to go to Saks because I need to meet with an essay about these shoes that I have just been thinking about forever and I just said it's gonna go ahead and be my Christmas gift to myself and so I'm gonna go get them <laughs> is what I'm thinking just make one bad purchase one more one bad but good purchase uh, before the new year starts because once I start finding my home and all this kind of stuff I know I'm not gonna be so frivolous in my purchases but this will be my last big purchase of this year and probably next year for the next six months I probably won't do anything unless I go to Greece and I find a really good deal on stuff when I go to Greece and I'm going to LA in January so the item I'm getting I think will be really good for when I go to Greece and when I go to LA in January so I really want to get them they've been on my mind and that's how I know I really want something if it's still on my mind I still be thinking about it I want to get them so I'm gonna go get them um, and then I need to take back my mom's shoes I bought her some Louboutins well me and my sisters we bought her some Louboutins some tennis shoes because she already has heels so some tennis shoes and I need to take them back and get a different size. So we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna go grab those shoes and we're gonna go to Nemus to take that back and order her a different size and then go to Saks to try the shoes that I'm thinking about. Okay, let's go. I went into my mom's house, I got the shoes. I'll show you the shoes. I was actually thinking about getting these for myself, but then I was like, oh, it'll be the perfect gift for my mom. They were a good deal. And so I got them because she likes to wear white tennis shoes too. So these are what I got her. Very much her style for sure. I usually like a lighter, like a smaller, uh, a smaller, what do you call it, sole. But these are what I got her. Well, me and my sisters got her. So yeah, we, she needs to get a bigger size because I think the bridge right here was cutting. So we're gonna go and get her another size ordered and sent. My coat, I'm loving this coat right now. I got this from, uh, Ralph Lauren. This was going to be a part of the video, which is now this video of things that I bought myself. Um, and I got this coat because I really thought it was cute and I had an extra 20% off and it was already a percent off. So I got it for a good deal and I just really like the color. And then I have on my little Gucci mini Dionysus that I got from Cancun. I'm wearing that and just some jeans and my beiges. Real simple, easy casual look today and some pants that I also got and I'll show you guys the whole look probably when I get into sex or something like that um my Vegas I mean the pants that I got from Hollister because I got them for 10 bucks so yeah I got like three different pants for ten dollars but I'm gonna take off my coat so and my shirt is also Ralph Lauren I really like Ralph Lauren if there is a brand that I like not necessarily polo by Ralph Lauren, but Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren. That is a brand that I actually like. Um, I have to go up a bunch of sizes in there because their stuff is not true to size. Um, so usually I can't get, like I would normally maybe wear a large in women's, I wouldn't be able to get a large in their stuff. I usually have to go up like two sizes to like extra large or 2X depending on the fit that I want. Um, but I do like their clothes. Um, I have a couple pants that I have by them that I like and then I have like shirts that I really like by them as well. So 
especially because they do boat neck really good and I like a boat neck. I like a boat neck shirt. Um, but yeah, so we're on our way to the mall and I'll see you guys when we get there. I just wanted to do a quick kind of show you the shoes that I'm taking back to Neiman's and check them out because they did just do like a reduction um, in their prices for stuff and then so did Saks. So just check it out and see if you guys see anything good. Okay. Go in stores, talk to your sales associates or call your sales associates. Just try to get what you need. All right. But <sighs> you guys, I am so sick, but I'm pushing on for these shoes. Okay. See, that's when you know you got a problem. I'm not feeling well at all, but I put on clothes. Okay. Not the best clothes, but clothes. And I'm heading there anyway. So I have my water, um, smart water. This is what I've been drinking to kind of help because I feel like I might be dehydrated and then someone told me or I don't know this has just always been a part of my sickness routine anytime I'm sick Sprite so I bought a case of Sprite that I had my mom go pick up when I was sick um, it's just always been a part of my routine anytime I'm sick and I can't drink or eat, I can't eat anything I drink a Sprite and I don't even drink sodas on a regular so it's my sickness medicine <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, we're going to Saks and Neiman's and that's it. I don't think I'm going to go into Louis Vuitton or anything like that or David Yearman or anything. I don't need anything from those places. I'm just really going in there with one thing in mind and one thing only. And if that shoe is sold by now, then it means that it wasn't meant to be. And I can save my coins because it's an expensive, an expensive shoe. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the mall. you guys so I got the shoes the good thing about the shoes though I was able to get them pre price increased prices which is good that's why I love going to Saks and dealing with the sales associate that I deal with because if it's marked that price that's what I got so I got them pre price increased prices which is a plus uh, for me that makes me feel like I'm saving and which was the only reason why I decided to go ahead and get them, which is crazy. Because when they came out at that price, I wasn't going to get them. But now I had already like half of it saved. Yeah, I already had like a little more than half of it saved up to like that could go towards something for myself. And so I just decided to splurge and get the whole thing. So, yeah. I'm excited because they're going to be the perfect shoe for travel when I go to LA, when I go to Greece. I will probably never make a purchase like this again because unless I really, really saved for it, because I really didn't save for it. It was just a lot of things that I, that I took back that I came into. I have this account that I just have like, it's not free money, but it's not in my regular account. So any money that is in that account, I can use towards other stuff or that I typically use towards other stuff because I really don't I only focus on my main account so yeah but I splurged put it on my credit card and I'm gonna just have to pay that that thing on down but I really like the shoes um yeah I'm gonna show you them when I get home <sighs> and I didn't get any footage inside of Saks and I really didn't even get any in Demons because I was just excited to get the shoes so the um in Neiman's and Neiman's check out Neiman's Neiman's has shoes baby and they can order them for you they have the Jimmy Choo Clayton boots that I really wanted they have those on clearance or a percent off 25% off but my problem with those even though I love those shoes and I wanted those boots so bad is that they're only going for like $7.90 something on and on satire I can get those shoes for what five or six hundred dollars so i'm waiting to get them a lot less and i always check out the jimmy choo outlet when i go to outlet 
and I seen something similar to the clay boots there. So I'm pretty sure if I don't get them this season, next season, I'll be able to find them for like 200, 300 bucks. And that's when I want them. That's when I'm comfortable buying them at like 200 bucks. So yeah, um, I'm excited about these shoes cause yeah, I've been, they've been on my wish list and I said I would never, never buy them unless, but this was the time. It was for me. This is the last splurge that I plan on doing this year and at least the first six months of next year. I know when I go to Greece, I'm going to try to spend money, but it's going to be money. I'm going to have money set aside to spend and not just like an impulse splurge. Okay, not, not, I'm not doing any impulsive stuff. I will just have money set aside and know what I get. And then the whole things that I want to get from Greece is more like a, a accessory pieces or unless they have the shoes that I really want, which are the Gucci shoes with the sparkles. These were comparable to that price, but they didn't have, so the Gucci shoes, they didn't have them in my size anymore online or those would have been my shoes and they didn't have those anymore. So I got some shoes that I know I would get my wear out of for sure all summer long so I'm excited it's gonna be between these shoes and my uh, Louis Vuitton Bomb Dia mules like they're gonna tag team the summer together okay yes um, but all right so yeah when I get back home I'll show you guys I didn't even film what I had on today even though I felt like I was cute um, I didn't even get to film it but we're gonna go home and I'm gonna go sit in my little area and We'll talk through what I got. I'll show you guys what I got. Um, because I don't really like to do, I don't mind doing unboxings like on Instagram, which I might do an unboxing, but I don't really like doing that just because I don't like people knowing what I have. Like, I'm not that type of person that, um, that like flaunts things that I own, like my possessions, like that. So, and I know I have people that follow me, like my family and that sort of thing, and other people, and I don't want people to think like. That I'm trying to like floss or flex what I got so I usually don't try to post things like that um, but I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone and, and one of those ways is posting more things on Instagram showing what I have and that sort of thing and so I might just do that this time because um, I got the perfect little uh, thing I want to do with it so yeah but okay you guys back to I will see you guys at home because I need to go home and, and think about this purchase I just made. Even though I'm content with it, I'm happy with it. I'm not, I'm not tripping about it. I'm okay with it. I know never again. It was, yeah, I know never again unless I really, really planned for it. But they're mine now. They're not going back. Not. So this is actually the next day of me filming the first part that you guys see when I was actually in the car on the hunt for my shoes that I actually purchased. So I want to share some of the things that I got for Christmas. I'm only sharing some of the things. There's a lot more things that people got me that I bought myself, but I didn't want this video to be too long. So just some highlights, just some good things that I can share and give a little bit of a background about. So one of the first things that I got was from my sister. Um, it's called Ariel, that's the brand. Um, and it's these huggy earrings. I love little huggy earrings. I just got back into the groove of these. Um, but there's different size assortments that she got me. These are gold plated, so they shouldn't turn or anything like that. And I do have my top hole, so I'm thinking about using the small ones in my top ear. Because um, both of mine are pierced, but I just haven't put another one in there. So, um, yeah, I really love these earrings. So, thank you, sister, for these. Um... That was one of my Christmas gifts. I always love earrings because I have a daughter. She's always playing with my earrings and knocking them out. And I know how I'm like, oh, I'm a stickler for gold jewelry. I have to have like real gold and not like plated or anything like that. But I have learned after losing diamond earrings and everything else because of the mask and my daughter that just getting something that's plated that I know I still can wear through is the best bet for me right now. So yes these are great next gift i got is from tori birch right here from my mom um she watches my videos so she's seen one of my gift guides and i i know she watches my stuff but you know who knows if they really get the hints of the stuff you're talking about but apparently she got the hit and she says uh 
Merry Christmas, sweetie. I hope you enjoy your looks. Um, I love you, mom. So she gave me a little note and everything, and I end up getting uh, the Tory Burch double T sandals. These little furry things right here. I love this color. My mom knows me so well. This color is so good. The green with the gold. It looks so good. And I have so many like green things that I'm just going to wear the mess out of these. So it came with these. I'm actually going to put these on now. They're so cute. Do you guys see them? Just really look at them. Are they not the cutest? They're cute. Okay. So these were a part of one of my gift guide videos. So if you haven't checked those out, check them out. There's still some goodies that are probably on sale now. And I'm putting these on now because they're just so, so, they're just such a vibe. And then it also came with like a dust bag. It's only one dust bag that comes in it. So just in case you love using dust bags, usually I put, usually I put, when I have sandals, I put both of the sandals in one dust bag. So one dust bag for me is fine. But yeah, I really do love these little Tory Burch shoes. Next item is something I bought for myself, and it's another pair of shoes. And these are these little um, Air Forces. They have leopard. They have a different bottom sole, which is what really attracts me to them. The tops, though, are a little thrown off for me, but I do like them. And I think these will look really good with, like, dresses and stuff like that, which is why I got them. Um, they're just really cute. They're dirty. <laughs> I need to clean them. I actually need to clean all of my shoes. I'm going to be organizing for the new year, so I'll do a video on that probably coming up in the new year, organizing my PAX closet for the new year. Um, and so when I do that, I'm going to make sure I clean down all of my shoes since they're going to be on display um, and make sure that they stay nice and neat. So yeah, here we go. My little Air Forces. And I got these um when I was supposed to be shopping for my son, which I did end up getting him like some sweatpants. And then I seen these for myself and I was like, oh, I have to get these. And so I got them, I think under 60 bucks or around 60 bucks, which wasn't bad for a pair of like Air Forces, right? So yeah, those were those. The next thing that I got for myself, you guys seen it in the video and it is this Ralph Lauren jacket. It is like a moto jacket, you can tell. It's like the moto style jacket really love this piece and it's so cozy on the inside um like so cozy it's in the color camel i got it in a 2x so that it fits really really oversized i like that look of it it just looks nice um that way and this this is so cozy i got this in the factory store it was actually a percentage off and then i got an extra percentage off so if you've shopped the factory store before make sure you check your inbox and make sure you don't see like an extra something off of it i seen this one and another uh jacket that i was considering that was more like a teddy style but this one was just so cozy this will keep you warm warm like i shouldn't have when i wore this yesterday I was hot, like, because I had a long sleeve uh, shirt underneath. I would really just recommend wearing this over, like, um, a bodysuit or something like that, or your arms are out, or a tank, because you're going to be warm in this sucker. This sucker will keep you, it will keep you warm. So, I really like this. Great, great purchase. Great purchase. This little, just random thing worth mentioning from h and M. I don't know if you guys have seen these um, little things that opened up it's like a turtleneck i got this from h&m um i just thought it would be something cute to wear that's what it would look like something like this do you see you see the look okay yeah so something like this um i got this from h&m just a little gift it was when i was looking for other things for other people so just thought i would share this little item um from h&m because their knits are pretty good and decent so this will be a great time because after Christmas, everything goes on sale to buy and pick up things that you like. Um, other things that I got for Christmas, I got the LeBay Chanel. Um, basically, I had seen another YouTuber recommend it, saying this is what she wears on her videos. And I just really liked how, how glowy she looked and how dewy she looked. And so I purchased it. I really like it. I'm not wearing any of it today, but because um, you guys know I don't wear makeup like daily or anything like that. Um, but I really like this and I bought the same for my sister. Um, so I got it in the, uh, but then they have like a, 
a deep like extra deep or something like that tint but that's what i got and then i also got a glow stick to go with it i did a video on both of these things so um i will link that in the cards if you guys are interested in seeing them um and then the next last gift that i'm going to share with you guys is an item that i got for myself the item that i got for me is i'm just gonna show it to you guys from sex yesterday meeting with my sales associate she just always does me right and these shoes had been on my mind for maybe since last year um they were just what i knew i wanted and i've tried dupes of these and returned them because they just didn't do justice and i always suggest like trying out a dupe first to see if you like the style if you can wear it but just getting the right dupe for these did not work like i had to get the original the dupe wasn't doing them justice and when i went into the store this week looking for things for my mom my sisters just my family and just shopping and seeing what was in store um i came across these in gold and i said okay let me try them on in the gold and the gold just wasn't doing me justice the gold just was too bright and i like a metallic because you know that could carry you with really any outfit you know it stands out with any outfit even though these shoes that i got right now they're gonna stand out with any outfit as well too but i was like no uh do you have any other ones and she brought out these ones the ones i'm gonna show you which i actually tried on before which is crazy so i'm surprised they still have the same ones in stock because i know it's the same one but probably because of the season that we're in nobody's checking for the shoe during this season so let me just do my unboxing for you guys. And, I, and this is the next day and I have no buyer's remorse. Okay, you guys, I thought I would, but I'm like, nope, these are my shoes. They're my shoes and they are. So here we go. I got these Chanel shoes. Let's unbox. So it's not wrapped up because of course I got it from Saks and they don't do that pretty wrapping at my Saks. Maybe at yours, they do let me know because they didn't do me like that, okay? So I'll do a complete unboxing of this and like talk through the shoe and review it and everything like that. Um, later on, I'll do another video, but this is just showing you guys since that was the whole point of this vlog was me going on the quest to get these shoes. Okay, so I'm going to just take the top off. I really miss sitting on the floor on my couch. Like I miss, miss that setup, but this is a little bit better. And when I move into my house, it's going to be even better, but right now i'm gonna take what we get and we don't throw it so uh, here's the dust bags at the top i have two came with two little chanel dust bags that are black and this is the second pair of chanel shoes i own i have a pair of tennis shoes from chanel that i bought from fashion file they're not my favorite but i do have those but these are the first ones that i actually purchased at store and so we're gonna open the mud and you guys see them are they the cutest? They're the cutest. Oh, they're the cutest. You see my light, it's adjusting. They're so cute, right? Okay, let me take them out. You guys see? And I think I'm gonna go get some Chanel earrings. I don't know. I'm debating on what I want to get to like compliment these when I wear them, but they're a compliment on their own. They don't need much of anything, but here they are. They're so cute. Oh, they're so cute yes these are so cute so um like i said they have the gold in the store the gold didn't do justice these these are from the 21a collection so i got them at the 21a price okay and that's what i love about my sales associate because the price of these shoes have went up um on the box they still have the price so she gave it to me for the price that was on the box so i was like uh when she rang it up i was like uh am i not gonna get it for that price and she's like oh no 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 thank you good way to catch it like yeah you'll get it from those prices so i love her she's the best i always when i go to Saks, i ask for her if i'm trying on shoes she's in the shoe department she will adjust my feet in the shoes okay she will tie my shoes untie she will make sure everything is right i love her okay i love her she makes sure things are right and that's why i feel like so special when i buy from her but i also get buyers remorse from her because she's like Oh, it looks nice like go ahead and get it it looks nice like you need to get it and when i came in what was that tuesday or wednesday she said the same thing like they're nice get them go ahead and get them and i'm like i don't know let me think about them i'll come back when are you here and i'll come back and get them and she was like i'm only here like wednesday thursday friday saturday 
Saturday because it was Christmas. That's why she was there on Tuesday. And I'm like, oh, okay. And so I'm like, uh, I'll come back on Wednesday. But you guys, after Christmas, I had already been thinking about these shoes for a minute and like processing, okay, how am I going to adjust my money so that I'm not pulling from places where I really need things to go and that I'm not just spending money that I don't have, that sort of thing, and I'm regretting things. So I wanted to make sure I was making a conscious decision. I don't like to just, I do like to, I'm not going to say I don't like to, I do just splurge and buy things. And this was a splurge for me, not going to lie, it was a splurge for me, but I'm a firm believer that money comes back around and um, as long as you're not, you know, stealing from somebody to pay another person, like stealing from Peter Pay Paul, is that how they say it? then it's okay to make a splurge for yourself. It'll come back around. And I just know that I can't continue to do this, but like a one time for myself, I think I deserved it. I had a good year. And so why not take a little bit of time to do something that I wanna do and get something that I like and something that I'm gonna wear. And I know it's gonna get its cost per wear. Like these are gonna be every other day summer shoes, baby. Like I know it. like they're gonna get worn. And so, and for years to come, they're gonna get worn and they just look so nice. And I know I'm gonna wear them. So, so all that to say, even though I do kind of feel like it was a splurge for me, it was a good splurge. Um, and like I said, I know I'm gonna get my wear of them. I'm going out of town in January. These are going to be the shoes. All my outfits are going to be coordinated around here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah. You like these sandals, so they're really, really cute. Um, I will do more detail review. Like, if you wanted to see them on my feet and that sort of thing, I will do that in a different video. I don't really want to do that in this video just because we're talking about gifts. It isn't solely about these beautiful shoes right here. But let me show it to you one more time because they're cute. Let's see. Do you see? Do you see them? They're cute. All of these. They're so cute. And they have like the CCC here, they have C here, and here they have a CC, like, they're so cute and the perfect gift for myself. But yeah, you guys, so that is all that I have. I feel like I rambled and maybe I didn't make my point, but get what you love, wear what you love. Don't like break the bank to do it, you know what I'm saying? But money comes, money comes, money goes. Get what you want to get, just don't. Just don't do it to where you're about to lose your house and your lights ain't on and your stuff ain't right, right? I still can pay all my bills after buying this purchase. Like, it's not a problem, okay? So, um, but, you know, if that's a problem, don't do it, okay? Don't do it. Don't be like me and splurge. But this is my one splurge, and I'm probably not going to buy anything, like, up in this price range that I haven't, like, already saved for and put money aside uh, for for another six to seven months, probably until my birthday. My birthday, it's gonna be off. But when I go to Greece, I'm gonna have, I'm just gonna save a certain amount that I'm gonna spend and I'm not gonna go over that amount. Um, and that's the way you kinda keep it together. But yeah, those are my Chanel dad sandals. Ooh, they were a part of my wish list. I don't know if I put them on my wish list video though. I think I put the Chanel 19 bag, but I don't think I put the dad sandals, but I have been, they should have been on my li wish list. They have been a part of my wish list for a minute now. So I'm really glad that I actually purchased them. Um, yeah, so I want to thank you guys for watching my video. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing just a little bit of some of the gifts that I got. Like I said, I got a lot more stuff. It just was easier to show you a few things, not everything. Um, I also got jeans from Hollister for like 10 bucks. So if you guys got a, an outlet around you, check out their jeans. I really thought they were flattering and... You know, I wore some on Christmas and my people was like, ooh, Tony, look at your booty. So they make your booty look good if you guys like your booties to look good. But um, I'm going to thank you guys for watching my video. Um, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys got for Christmas. I wanted to just wrap up Vlogmas, you guys. Hoping that you guys have a great new year um, and that you had a good year, good Christmas. Happy holidays to you guys. Um, hopefully that you're enjoying um, this time of year um, and thank you guys I hope you enjoyed vlogmas because this is my last vlog this video you probably won't see me post another video into the new year um, but I want to thank you guys for watching because you could have been anywhere else but you decided to be here and I appreciate that hope you guys have a good night a good morning a good evening whenever you're choosing to watch this video and you guys before you go watch another one of my videos and I'll see you guys next year bye